Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, it's inspired by dreams. Dot shop. We got everything just to get your drip right. Dress outside of the box. Okay, today's episode, this is a very important episode. And before we get into this video, I want to break down the, how I got here and the reason why we're having this conversation today. So when I first started doing my YouTube lives, I, it was kind of weird for me just, you know, having the live up and just, you know, the, the communication with people that I didn't know. And in between these lives, as the day went on, my channel was growing and growing and growing. And you know, here and there you get your trolls and everything that hops in, don't know what you're about, and they might crack a joke here and there. But one day, I got this guy, he just kept coming there and he kept asking the same question, are you gay? Are you gay? Are you gay? And I was just like, I got to thinking. In my head, I thought to myself, like, why does every time I'm noticing this guy come in and ask the same question? And every time I would tell him, no, I'm straight. So I thought to myself, you know, it's crazy, but as a straight male, I never in my life asked any other male, are you gay? And I thought about it. Maybe he's gay and he can't find, you know, he's trying to find out who's gay or who's not gay. But then I see a lot of things going on in hip hop and I say to myself, like, you know, there's a lot of dudes in hip hop that's keeping their relationships and they're on the DL and they're even in relationships with other females and they're gay. It like made no sense. So the more I dug into this whole situation, it starts to seem like there's a lot of content creators. There's a lot of deceptional people out there and men always, you know, telling another man to, to suck his and it's like all of this stuff, when you really sit down and think about it, it's like they're the ones that's gay if they always have that type of thoughts on their mind. So let's just jump into it because recently, August Alcina, he came out and I thought to myself, he was the guy, you know, he jumped into the relationship with Will and Jada and he was sleeping with this and that. And now he turns out that he's gay. And he, it's just like, you know, being an honest person in these times, it's so rare so you have to be very careful out there and be careful with the person that you're dating because one day they might tell you that they are gay or they're in the opposite sex you be truthful with your partner and there's nothing wrong with being gay but just be truthful with yourself and don't go out there deceiving people because it doesn't look good so let's just jump right into this whole clip and then we're going to go into some stories that's really it's, it's really touching you know how you know just be honest out there you guys Come out the closet, I guess. All right, let's go. Love showed up, but in a new way. What? I want to share that and really honor the person that I love <laughs> and that loved me back and teaching me so much about love and healing. I want to do that in front of uh, the world <laughs> because it defies all the constructs that um, one would say love is supposed to be or love should look like what what kind of tripped me out was he was saying it in the sense of somebody was stopping him from doing or loving who he wants to love nobody knew tell me when did you suspect that your man was on the down low so about two years into our marriage, me and my ex-husband, we were not doing well. It was toxic. One day I needed to use a laptop, but mine was broke and a lot of times he would let me use his. He wasn't home on this specific day. I go to open his laptop and his email is open. I guess he must have forgotten, not realized and just shut it down. But normally he would close his apps out. I go in the email and I see that there are these emails with a strange subject from Craigslist. Something I had to read and open because I was like, oh no, who is he sending messages to? I click on it and it is messages where he's responding back and forth to a man from Craigslist that my ex had reached out to. This man is openly gay and the man was asking my ex-husband, have you ever been with a man before? Have you ever tried these things before? My ex responds back with, no, but I've always been curious about it. If you hate women, just say that. If you aren't into women, just say that. 
how is it that you get in relationships with these women, but here it is, you got more time to kick it with your homies. You stay out in the street with grown ass men. You would rather be out in the street with grown, hairy, smelly men running around for days versus being up under some warm covers with your soft woman. Here it is, you want to continuously take trips with grown ass men when you could be on a resort vacationing, rubbing some soft feet and some soft butt, but you want to be around a whole bunch of beards and big shoulders and backbone. Are you kidding me? If you and the men just say that, if you don't like women, just say that. How the fuck is it? You are exchanging bodily fluids with your woman, splitting bills with your woman, but you prioritize your homies before her. If you don't like women, just say that. You'll get up out of your bed at 2 o'clock in the morning because the homies got an issue, but you won't even inconvenience 15 minutes of your day during work hours for your woman. You weird, goofy... So... December 24th of 2023. It was the weekend for him to take my son. Uh, or our son. Um, I have not seen or heard from my son the entire weekend. Have not seen him. Have not heard from him. Now, his, his father knew that he had a birthday party on Christmas Day that we were celebrating with my family. So I haven't heard, again, I haven't heard from him this entire weekend. He knew because I told him prior that week. So I, I was calling his phone. I have not heard from him in like four to five hours. The last thing he texted was at like 1250, said that, you know, he was going to take my son out to eat and he was going to go to his mom to, you know, open birthday cards and stuff. So... December 24th, I have not heard um, from him since 1250. It's now going on 4 o'clock. I'm calling, I'm texting, I'm calling, I'm texting, I'm calling, I'm texting. Uh, he sent me another text, I think around like 4 or something. And I haven't heard from him since then, and I know he was supposed to drop my son off. Now, since I have not heard from him and I reached out to his mother and I said, you know, have you seen your son? Have you heard from your son? She said, no, I haven't seen him since Thanksgiving. So that went off. Like, what do you mean you haven't seen him? Like, you know, he would say he was taking my son over to the house. So I go into panic mode. I'm calling him, calling him, calling him. No answer, no answer, no answer. So then I proceed to call his partner. No answer. Um, so I waited about four or five hours, you know, see if he'll respond, see if he'll text back. None. Now, at this point, I'm upset, I'm anxious, I'm worried. So I go to his house. I go to his house. Right when I pulled up, he called me. At this point, it's like four or five hours. He says, oh, I've been looking for my phone. Impossible. For four to five hours, you've been looking for your phone? For four to five hours, you have been looking for your phone. Impossible. So I just say, hey, can you just bring my son outside? So I'm outside waiting for like four to five minutes or maybe two to three minutes. I don't know. But it's raining and it seemed long to me. He proceeds to come to the door and he was like, calm the fuck down. But it's like, don't tell me to calm down after I've been reaching out to you about my kid. Don't tell me to calm down when you haven't answered your phone in like four to five hours. Just don't tell me to calm down. So that's what I said. Don't tell me to calm down. And I proceeded to take my son out of his hands and I was proceeded to leave. He said, bitch, fuck you and slammed the door in my face. So what do you do when somebody slam a door in your face? You walk away. So that's exactly what I did. Walk away with my son. The door swings back open, and all I hear is, fuck you, bitch, fuck you, bitch, fuck you, bitch. And I'm just like, in front of my son? You're doing all this in So, I proceed to walk away. He goes and get his boyfriend. 
on you. Long story short, two years ago, I found out he was cheating on me for a year with men. Never knew. Uh, there was no signs at the beginning. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a long story. But anyway, his boyfriend comes to the door. And the, the father of my son is really yelling out, fuck you, bitch, fuck you, bitch. So in that moment, I wanted to break down because you're doing this in front of my son. You disrespected me in front of my son. I have took it a lot from this man. I have dealt with, I have dealt with a lot. If you don't know me, or if you're not friends with me, or you're not my family, you would not know the amount of pain that I suffered within two years dealing with him. You just, you wouldn't know. And I've been healing for two years. Um, so he's, he's yelling out, you know, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. So I'm like, okay. So I walk away. I get, get my son to the car. My sister is with me. So my sister gets out and was like, no, fuck you, bitch. So now my sister's arguing arguing with him and his boyfriend so I'm trying to like tell my sister you know go back in the car we finna leave at the end of the day I am still a woman and you are still a man why would you go get another man on me you couldn't have not felt that threatened to go get another man on me you just you could not not have felt that threat to go get another man on me and then you could not have felt that threat to do it in front of my son so at this point, it became a safety issue for me and my son. Now, I don't want to compare it with him. Uh, I can't. It's too much pain and it's just, it's too much. I had to deal with so much shit in silence and it's like I'm tired. And I just want to help other women if they are going through this or if they have to deal with the man that they found out was actually a DL. I want to help you because this is really like a mental trauma. So I was talking to someone who I had suspicions that he was down low. Get yeah, right? Because he kept talking about how he thinks one of his best friends is gay and he's like obsessed with this topic of conversation. Telling you. And I find it weird that you're obsessed with your friend's sexuality. That's already awkward and you constantly talk about how you think your best friend is down low gay or bisexual. It's weird. Like, so that's already a red flag. Any man that is obsessed with another man's sexuality, red flag. No straight man is gonna be obsessed with another man's sexuality, especially not his and he'd always refer to his boy as like good looking or yo, you get the looks, you can do this, you can do that. So I get it, you have a crush on your boy, like you're project, like you're gay for your bro. You want him to be gay, you want him to be bisexual. And you probably know he's down low because maybe you guys did something before. I don't know, maybe this is your way of dry snitching. Cause you know how some people like narcissists and psychopaths like to dry snitch on themselves they kind of like to tell on themselves without telling on themselves if that makes sense it's like they're hiding so much stuff but they almost want you to know so it's like you were like hinting something at me. so then i asked i said you're just down low gay you just you like him now mind you he let the same bro in the house live with him this is the same bro that he thinks is down low gay and he's very homophobic and he says Oh, they need to fight that shit. When they're around me, you can't fight your sexuality. So I said to him, you know you can't fight being gay or bisexual. You can't fight it. And he didn't even bat an eye. He was just like, well, people need to fight it. I'm like, are you fighting it? And he was like, no, I get pussy in and out this door. I get pussy all the time. Now, let me tell you something. That was definitely an answer of someone who is down low gay. And let me tell you why. 
I know a lot of down low gay guys. I even dated one. And they overcompensate being down low gay by getting a lot of pussy. Down low gay men will actually be more womanizers than straight men. Why is that? Because they have something to prove. They have to prove or fight that they're not gay or bisexual. They have to prove that they're heterosexual and, the, and they're overcompensating. Because getting a lot of pussy doesn't mean you're not down low gay. Doesn't mean you're not bisexual. And saying I get tons of pussy as a response to someone asking if you're fighting your bisexuality or homosexuality in the closet, that's that's not a good answer. <laughs> that's because everyone knows there's gay guys and bisexual men who have children and get a lot of pussy. So everyone knows Getting a lot of pussy and getting a lot of woman doesn't mean you're not gay. So when they say that, that's a red flag. Because you know and I know that getting woman and getting a lot of women doesn't mean you're not gay. Like, we all know that. There's plenty of down low gay men or gay men or they get women, they have families, they have kids. Like, that's, that doesn't prove anything. And like I said, a lot of down low gay men will try to overcompensate by getting with a lot of women and being a womanizer. And they'll try to use the excuse, I get a lot of pussy. I could never be gay. So they'll always fall back on, oh, well, look at all the pussy I get. How could I be gay? Yeah, because that's always the fallback excuse and cover up. But everybody who's anybody knows that shit does not mean that you are not gay or fighting your sexuality. Safe to say this, man. He is gay because I've been him before. Go back and watch this full video for context. If you were in a relationship with a closeted man, he will stay cheating on you because in his mind, it's disguising him being gay. And it won't be one or two women. It will be woman after woman after woman. And they usually only have one male friend at a time, but consistently one male friend throughout the years. And they will go on hunting trips together, fishing trips together. It's giving Brokeback Mountain. And this isn't coming from a place of hate. This is coming from a place of the need to expose deception. It's giving like a Nick Cannon, if you will. A Clint Eastwood, somebody that has to have multiple baby mothers with multiple different women creating multiple different families. They think it disguises what they really got going on and the older they get, the better they get at deceiving. They get older, the women get younger. They need someone naive to be able to trick. And usually to the public, they're called a narcissist. Many narcissistic men like to hook up with gay men. Why? Because the narcissistic guy likes to be told by the gay guy how good looking he is, how well endowed he is. He likes to be worshiped. He likes to be hunted. He likes to be chased. And the gay guy is more than happy to do that for his own reasons about why he might be attracted to an unavailable guy, to a guy that he could turn for a night and win him over. So it's a win-win for both people. But people don't understand this. They think, well, this must be gay on both parts. It isn't. The narcissistic man is only interested in the worshiping of himself, of, the being, of being treated and seen by the gay guy really sometimes even taking advantage of the gay guy but the gay guy likes to be taken advantage of in this case so it really is something that works for both of them watch out for them me and say they'll slide for they bro they'll ride for they bro what they really mean they'll slide and they bro and they'll ride they bro peace game now they be hugging and kissing and they be loving each other okay this is my last and final part but this is how you know your your man may be on the DL and he's bisexual on the DL. Check out part one, everybody, especially LGBTQ, check out part one so y'all don't be mad at me for what I'm saying and y'all don't get offended. Okay, okay, back into it. So again, like I was saying, they, they gonna treat you bad regardless because they're they're not, they don't want you. <laughs> so you're, ir you're irritating them already. Um, another thing is they are probably around a lot of men they got a lot of homeboys they kick it with their homeboys a lot i watch that shit because if if your nigga would rather kick it with his homeboys more like more than i don't know it's just something about a man want to be around other men too much that just don't sit right with me it just don't sit right with me like you you really would miss 
having sex with a woman to go kick it with some niggas to smoke with a nigga that that shit happens though now y'all every man not gay like a man can hang with his friends that is not what i'm saying like please y'all do put the story if it fits now don't make men be gay if they not gay or bisexual don't make them be that okay 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 but i watch also how they treat kids watch how they what the things they like to watch I, I i dated a man the same man <laughs> that you know he would watch certain shit with a lot of gay shit in it and he'd be okay with it i i, I don't like men honestly i do not like men that are homophobic i, I it makes me sick but if he if he too okay with certain certain scenes and you know he too okay with it and he ain't making no commentary i'm questioning i'm asking questions and that's just me no harm no foul but that's just me watch how they treat other men too like watch they homeboys a lot of time if a man is bisexual it's with somebody is close in a circle and they taking that shit to the grave together watch how they talk to each other watch how they treat each other watch if they do they touch each other they better not fucking touch each other men don't do that I, let me, oop, that was wrong I take that back I, I, ta I honestly take that back I feel like I would respect a man a lot more if he was honest and he told me straight up that he was bisexual to give me the space to choose for myself if I want to partake in this relationship because I feel like you are lying to me when you're not being yourself with me i want you to be yourself with me and um i honestly told a friend i said i would probably accept this person i was dating if he would have talked to me and gave me the choice but now i feel like he tried to play me ego involved <laughs> like this man said that men often choose to be on the down low because they aren't given a safe space when are we gonna keep it a buck no one no matter what gender race or class is given a safe space it ain't safe for the it's not safe. You telling me because a woman doesn't make you feel safe because of your sexual preferences, you go behind that woman's back and sleep with men? You feel safe enough to sleep with another man, communicate with another man, even be in a relationship with another man, but because your woman might not like it, you don't feel safe enough to say it out loud. There's a misconception that lesbians are safe. The only time being a lesbian is safe is when men get to watch or benefit. Once a woman shares that she wasn't gay for the benefit of a man, she's all types of names. Bull, babe, babe, babe. Young M.A. Or she just hasn't had the right D in her life. Men could also create and maintain safe spaces for other men to explore their sexuality. Because as a woman, how can I create a safe space for you if I didn't even know what was going on? What can I say in these times? Being deceptional with your partner is like not having a partner at all. You have to be truthful in these times. And if you are bi like we see in hip hop, we see a lot of guys, you know, you see guys kiss other guys and they're like, they're not gay. It's just be honest, be truthful, so people can see your truthful self. And don't jump into a relationship if you're gay with a female and lay the stringer on and later on down the line, you know, just tell her you're gay. It's no good out there, y'all. Till next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.